Today we're going to walk through creating your first Azure application using .NET and Visual Studio. It should take about three to five minutes and it's free. Let's take a look. I'm starting out here in the Azure portal. This is an HTML5 application. You can see at the top I've got some credits from my free trial. It looks like I've got $183 uh, US still available and another couple weeks before it expires. So I can do lots and lots of stuff with that credit. I can go and say new and make websites and virtual machines, cloud services and stuff like that. I could go and say create a new quick website or maybe make one from the gallery. And there's lots of different choices and blogs and uh, CMSs and stuff like that. Uh, but I can also now uh, make websites directly from Visual Studio itself. So inside Visual Studio with the Azure SDK installed, I can just come over here and click on the Windows Azure node in the Server Explorer and click Connect to Windows Azure. I'm going to hide my password from you and log right in. And you'll notice that right now it says Refreshing Website. So I'm seeing the same websites that I saw on the portal. And uh, from here, I'm going to just make a new project. I'll make a new uh, 4.5 ASP.NET Web application. We'll start with the base MVC template, maybe add Web API and then hit OK. And that'll just create that ASP.NET uh, 5, MVC 5 web application. And that's up and running, and I can probably run that locally and uh, see that that works fine. And that runs fine locally. Before I publish this anywhere, I'm just going to run into the controller, and I'm just going to put in some uh, diagnostics, because I want to make sure that this particular line is being hit. So I'm going to just type in trace hit control dot dot uh, right line hey it's me and then just save that and make sure that that's cool and then I'm gonna right click on the project itself and say publish now from here if I had an existing published profile for Azure I could grab that I could import other uh, projects but I can also from here make a new website so I'm gonna make a totally new uh, website uh, my super site. Hopefully that, yeah, so no one's used my super site yet. I'll put it in the West Coast and hit create. So this is doing the same thing that would happen if I were in the portal, creating the website, except I'm doing it within Visual Studio at the moment that I'm about to publish. So you see, I can actually pick those are the existing sites. There's the one we just made. Hit OK. And it gets all those published settings and where exactly it's going to go, connection strings if it were a database and then hit publish. And then this will publish that up into actual live Azure. This should just take just a second here. So here's the actual live site running in Azure. So this is really in, uh, in production. I could even go back over to the websites section of the portal and uh, hit refresh and then see that that new website was created even though it was made inside of Visual Studio. Of course, I can see my dashboard and monitor and scale this site however I, uh, I feel like it. There's the activity that we just did. I can scale it, go from free to shared to standard. But I'm going to go back over here and go to the Server Explorer. And I'm going to right-click and refresh the websites to see my new site and then say View Settings. These are the same settings that I could change in the management portal. And I can even click here and say open in management portal. But what I want to see is application logging because I want to see that trace log that we added there. So I've set that to verbose and I want to save that setting. This is exactly the same as if I did it in the portal. I want to see that line happen. I'm going to right click and say view streaming logs in output window. So now I'm connected to the Azure streaming service and then I'll put the website kind of off to the side here and then just hit uh, refresh and you can see that there's my trace right line in production happening down here. Just hitting refresh and I'm seeing that. But even more I want to really really prove that that's happening. I'm going to actually click here and put a breakpoint and then what I want to do is uh, click Attach to Debugger. So I'm attaching to the remote debugger. This is just like attaching to a debugger in IIS, except in this case, we're doing it remotely uh, with kind of IIS in the sky. This is the Azure web server in the sky. Oh, and I have hit a breakpoint, 
and right there we can actually see the call stack and I can look at locals and wander around. I mean I am really doing remote debugging. You can see the process ID and the thread ID and the stack frame. So that's pretty cool actually. Deploying the app just took a couple of minutes. I was able to use Visual Studio for everything. Put my .NET app up in the cloud. Take a look at my tracing and diagnostics. Change settings without visiting the portal. And even do remote production debugging. So if you know Visual Studio and .NET, you also will be able to easily deploy to Azure as well. Uh, check it out at azure.com. And also the new show at friday.windowsazure.com. Thanks a lot.